What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Bud Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, the man known as Money, retired, undefeated, legendary, iconic, former five division world champion, former pound for pound king, Floyd Money Mayweather, responds to the highly anticipated, undisputed showdown between three division world champion and then lightweight, unified world champion superstar boxer. Vasily High Tech Lomachenko and undefeated IBF lightweight world champion superstar boxer Teofimo Lopez, in which it saw Teofimo Lopez win a unanimous decision on all three judges' scorecards and had him absolutely dominate in this fight. There was a lot of talk of Vasily Lomachenko being better than Floyd Mayweather. You had guys like Max Kellerman. You had a uh, former promoter of Floyd Mayweather, legendary promoter and CEO of top rank Bob Aaron come out and say he's the greatest thing we've seen since Muhammad Ali, even better than Floyd Mayweather, right? You had a lot of boxing pundits saying that uh, Vasil Lomachenko would beat Floyd Mayweather when, and when Floyd Mayweather was at what is considered the best division in his career at 130 and 135. You had a lot of guys saying that, well, you know, uh, Lomachenko, if he fought Floyd at those weights, he would beat Floyd Mayweather. He's better than Floyd Mayweather. This is a guy that only had 15 total fights and one in which he lost his second fight to a journeyman in Orlando Salido who just roughed him up on the inside and had 12 losses and two draws on his resume when he beat Vasily High Tech Lomachenko. This is who Lomachenko lost to early in his career. You would never imagine Orlando Salido defeating Floyd Mayweather at any point in time in his career. But this is a guy they pegged to beat uh, uh, that was greater than Floyd Mayweather. Now, Vasily High Tech Lomachenko has lost to a guy that's 23 years old with only a total of 15 fights. Yes, he lost to a guy that's 15 and 0 at 23 years of age and only one big fight in his career when he defeated uh, then IBF lightweight world champion superstar boxer uh, Richard Comey. He knocked Richard Comey out, right? Uh, Vasil Lomachenko lost big time. The first six, seven rounds went in the direction of Teofimo Lopez. They went in the direction of Teofimo Lopez. You would never, or they wouldn't even sanction at, at when Floyd Mayweather was 32 years old. By the time he was 32 years old, he had accomplished so much within the sport of boxing, they would never even sanction Floyd Mayweather face off against a guy with only 15 fights in his career. Let alone, can you even imagine Floyd Mayweather losing to a journeyman like Orlando Salido with 14 essential losses on his resume? 12 official losses and two draws. So those are two non-wins. So essentially they're losses. If you didn't come in first place, you lost. So 14 losses and a guy that's 23 with 15 uh, fights. They won't even sanction Floyd Mayweather at 32 years old to face off against a guy like that. Nobody would approve of that. Let alone, with, well, couldn't you imagine Floyd Mayweather losing those fights? So, Floyd Mayweather responds and says that he's not surprised. It's ex it was expected. And that's why he, in return, he even bet on Teofimo Lopez to win this fight. And he showed off the receipt. So, he even, uh, you, know, uh, you know, bet money on Teofimo Lopez he was that confident that Vasil Lomachenko just wasn't the guy they were saying he was, that he was built up to be. Uh, Floyd Mayweather in his prime at 130, he won titles at 130, 135, 140, 47, and 54. Floyd Mayweather at 130 would dominate Vasil Lomachenko. Vasil Lomachenko showed again, he showed us against Orlando Salido when he lost. He showed us in other fights, uh, but... He showed us again against Teofimo Lopez last night that he cannot box going backwards. When you push him back, he doesn't even let his hands go. He doesn't even throw punches. One point in time, in one of the rounds that they fought in uh, uh, last night, he threw 11 punches and only landed two because predominantly of the round, Teofimo Lopez was pushing him backwards. And because Teofimo Lopez was pushing him backwards and making him fight off the back foot, Try and force him to try to fight going backwards. He only threw a total of 11 punches and he only landed two because he don't have the confidence going backwards. He is a front runner. He can fight going forward. 
he could fight using those angles. I told everybody that will listen, when you have a guy that's big enough and athletic enough to not allow those angles to come into play, then they won't be an advantage for, uh, for Vasil Lomachenko. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, he was in there with somebody that was as quick as him, as athletic as him, and had a boxing IQ just as high as his, and didn't allow him to use all these angles, get flustered and frustrated with him using all these angles and all these you know, uh, um, subtle movements, but just stand their ground and stay patient that he don't have an advantage. I showed you guys when... I told you guys when Luke Campbell was coming forward, how much success Luke Campbell had. Luke Campbell couldn't close the show, but he hurt him at least three times in that fight. I showed you guys when Jorge Linares was able to come forward, the success he had. These are telltale signs in the fights, right? And these are the signs that you can see that uh, if he in there match right with the right guy, he, will, he won't be successful. And this is what happens, right? So uh, um, Floyd Mayweather, imagine. Floyd Mayweather can fight in any manner. He could fight going backwards. He could fight going lateral. He could fight coming forward. And he could fight just standing in the pocket, being stationary. That's not what uh, Vasil Lomachenko can do. And I know Floyd Mayweather, you know, uh, took offense to the fact that people even compared him to Floyd Mayweather with only 15 fights and a loss in his career. Right? Yes, he, he was a three-division world champion. but And he had a, 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 um, you know, a massive amateur background. 400 fights with only one loss. But he was a man fighting amongst boys. You got to keep that in mind. He turned pro when he was like 24 years of age. So uh, majority of his uh, um, his amateur background, he was a grown man. He was Teofimo Lopez, essentially, fighting amateurs. Put that in the content, okay? So, yes, he 400 fights, only one loss, extensive, beautiful uh, background, Amateur background, but that don't translate into the professional rankings. And a, another thing is, I told you guys when he moved around, Devin the Dream Haney, undefeated WBC lightweight superstar boxer. I told you guys the reason why. The reason why he, they, they weren't in favor of that Devin Haney fight is due to the fact that Devin Haney's movement and Devin, Devin Haney's size and ability to make adjustments. Uh, Devin Haney could press the fight forward and he's not good fighting backwards. Lomachenko is not. And Devin Haney has the range to keep him at bay. You saw at times when Luke Campbell used his range, he kept Lomachenko at bay. And he had a, a hard time finding his way on the inside. Because he has very, very short arms. He's not a big guy. He has to force his way on the inside. And that wasn't he wasn't able to do that all the time against Luke Campbell. And they understand Luke Campbell doesn't have the foot movement of a Devin Haney. So when Devin Haney is in the ring and can press forward, can fight lateral, can cut the ring off, can match him in ring IQ, athletic ability, speed, and things of that nature. That's not a good matchup for him. They thought Teofimo Lopez was the, a better matchup than Devin Haney. That's why they asked to be franchised when Devin Haney became the mandatory. At the same token, they were saying that they wanted an interim fight after beating Luke Campbell uh, in August for the vacant WBC title that Mikey Garcia vacated. Uh... So he didn't fight Mikey Garcia for, he fought Luke Campbell. So they, they fought Luke Campbell, then they asked to be franchised, so that way he could maneuver around his mandatory challenge in Devin Haney, in which at the same time they were saying that uh, they was waiting for the winner, Teofimo Lopez, was uh, Richard Comey, that was taking place December 14th. So he had five months, he said he didn't want to sit on the shelf for that long. He wanted to have another fight, uh, and because by the time the winner of that fight fought, they wasn't going to be available till at least March. So he said he wanted to have a fight in between that. And Devin Haney, he, he pegged as being too green, uh, but he wanted a tune-up. That was the perfect opportunity. But no, Devin Haney presented a much bigger challenge than uh, um, the boxing world expected from Vasil Lomachenko. That's the reason why they maneuvered around Devin Haney and didn't even take a fight at all because they knew if you're going to fight in between that time, you might as well go ahead and fight Devin Haney, who's your mandatory challenger, right? Since you said he was green and he was uh, equal to a tuna, then you should might as well go ahead and fight Devin Haney in the meantime. And then you fight, you beat Devin Haney, then you fight the winner, Tia Fimo Lopez, Richie Coleman. But they knew the boxing world wasn't going to accept that, that Devin Haney was the mandatory, and you move around him to fight another guy that's a tuna and waiting for Teofimo Lopez, Richard Comey. So in return, they just decided to sit on the shelf for the entire time, which Ring Russ had to play a part in this as well because he hadn't fought for 14 months. 
So you see, uh, uh, there was a lot that took place in this equation. And I told you guys that uh, uh, you get the right guy in there with him, he can expose his flaws. And this is what Floyd Mayweather was saying. And you can imagine you put Floyd Mayweather in the ring with Vasil Lomachenko at any point in time in Floyd Mayweather's career, he's going to win the fight. Far too versatile. So uh, he knew Teofimo Lopez was going to win the fight, as I did. I told you guys Teofimo Lopez was going to win this fight. And he did. But uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D. B, C, shout out to New Media, shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.